buffalo wings are such a popular snack these days in most bars because it's easy it's a pretty cheap ingredient and people like them but before it was popular chicken wings weren't really a thing people didn't really care for it until the fateful day in buffalo new york where buffalo wings was invented but Honestly, trying to make buffalo wing at home without a fryer, it's a little bit difficult. So I found this recipe online that talked about making it using um, baking it and then using a little bit of baking soda to help uh, dry out the skin to give it a little more crisp. So I decided to try it because I do like buffalo wings. And every time I watch an episode of Hot Ones, with that uh, Sean Evan on YouTube, I really want to eat spicy chicken wings. But obviously, I don't want to go out and buy it every single time because it's not convenient. And also because I don't have a deep fryer, so I can't fry it. So I decided to try making it uh, using this big version. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's not the same. Uh, frying is a lot better. So. It's a pretty easy recipe I, I concocted uh, using the uh, hot sauce I made in the last episode. Um, and it's just really easy to make realistically because it's a lot easier than frying it. And I don't have all the leftover um, oil afterwards. I marinated the wings, uh, I brined it. So that way the meat itself is salty and has some flavors itself. And then I baked it and I tossed it in a um, hot sauce uh, that I basically used with the base of butter and the hot sauce I made last week. And I decided to sweeten it up by adding a little bit of honey and I uh, balanced it out with some lime juice. You could replace it with vinegar if you want. I tossed it up. It tastes okay. So anyway, give it a try. It's a lot cleaner, easier to make realistically. Well, if you like this episode, come back next week for a new one, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.